everyone welcome back to another video on my channel again i am here with another video of a design that i've already done in the past basically so the last time i did this was like two years ago it's in the very first lockdown in like april may time 2020 so here we are two years later recreating it i will put the picture in of it on my client which was my mom because obviously we were in a lockdown at the time and she was the only one um basically coming to me to have an nails done because she literally lives in the same house as me so that wasn't illegal anyway so i'm going to tell you which colors i'm going to be using so we've got a mixture of some pastels we've got violet vibes which is this beautiful purple we've got blossom uh, blossom which is a pink i don't know what that is on top gross i'll clean that in a second um we've got ivy which is a like minty green we've got powder blue which is not able to see there we go which is obviously a blue and then we've got sand castles which is this beautiful like orangey well sandy color believe it or not um and then other than that we've also got white which i'm using is alaska obviously you can use any white you want i've got two other things now so we've got two things from tia's beauty this on the left is a pigment and it is pearl aurora then we've got on the right a glitter which is also called aurora but is actually a fine glitter so that is what we're using today for this design i'm going to go ahead and do our like base colors as normal so for two nails they're going to be white so both of them i'm going to do a coat on each and get them in the lamp ready for me to do designs with so one of them is just going to be plain white with a few crystals which i haven't actually got out yet just reminded myself and then the other one is going to have the glitter sprinkled on top so for the first one that's going to have the crystals on i'm just painting the white and then we'll put it in the lamp as normal to cure but the one that i'm doing the glitter on i will do the glitter onto the wet coat of white so I'm popping that straight into the lamp for a 60 second cure. That's going to be the one for the crystals, of course. This one is going to be the one with glitter on. So I'm going to do my coat of white. I'm going to make sure that's all covered like over the whole entire nail and it's not too thick because I still want it to cure. And it doesn't need to be thick anyway, obviously, because it's just basically a base for something. So making sure that's nice and even. And then once I've done that, I'm then going to get my little glitter contraption out. Um, so I don't make a mess. I'm just going to clean it up, make sure there's no other glitters in here before I get to using it. And then we're going to be using, like I said, the Phoenix glitter. I'm just going to move all these bottles out of the way so I don't need those just yet. I'm just going to sprinkle this straight on top. I'm just going to hover the nail over here and I'm just going to sprinkle the glitter on. And then that will catch all the excess for me so i don't waste a lot i'm just gently tapping this all over this nail so it really sets in and then once i've done that i'm just going to tap off any excess move that out of the way for a second and then all i'm going to do is i'm just going to go with my finger around the sides and just pat them in you should do this with gloves on don't ever touch gel polish before it's cured which is literally exactly what i'm doing but do as i say not as i do because this is a stupid thing to do um and then once i've done that i can pop that into the lamp this is what it looks like at the moment it's looking a bit crazy but obviously it won't look like that when it's done so we're going to pop that in for a full 60 seconds i'm going to put the extra glitter out of this back into my pot not that there is that much there to be fair i didn't use a lot I'll put that away i'm just going to give my desk a quick tidy so this glitter isn't sending my camera funny for the rest of the video and then the next nail is going to be a pink nail because we're going to be using the pigment over this pink so i'm going to be using blossom which is going to be in our design nails as well just to tie it all in together so i'm going to do two coats of this color and i'm not actually going to use the pigment on a no wipe top coat which is typically what you would do I am just going to apply it straight to my colour when it comes to it. I actually, I don't really know what it's going to look like on the gel perfection polishes because they don't have a major tacky layer. And I'm not going to cure it for half the time to ensure I get a tacky layer. I'm going to fully cure it. I'm just going to see what, basically what we end up with. 
so that's just finished now that, that i've just put in the lamp so i'm just going to dust this off i'm going to do it out of the way of the camera so i can get it mostly on the floor instead of on my desk so i'm just brushing that with that brush to make sure it's all nice and smooth and then all i'm going to do is i'm just going to give it a quick file around the outsides of the nails to make sure it's nice and smooth I haven't got any bits poking out that are really sharp. There we go. Make sure it's still stuck to my display tip holder. So that is what this one looks like at the moment. I'm now just going to pop a layer of base coat. So if you look at it from the side, you can see that it's nice and smooth. Well, you can't because it won't focus. There you go. You can see that it's genuinely smooth because obviously it's a fine glitter. So I don't need to worry too much about like encapsulating and build gel or anything like that. So I am just going to go in with a base coat. I'm going to use quite a thick layer at first. I'm not going to leave it like that, but I'm using quite a thick layer. I'm really spreading that all over the nail in a really thick way. Because I want to make sure that it gets between every single speck of glitter to make sure it smooths it out as much as it possibly can. I'm just using quite a lot, but we are going to basically take off the majority of this product anyway. And then once I've done that, I will then use my brush to just brush over normally to get off any excess. Like so. And then once I've done that, I'm going to pop that into the lamp. So while that's in the lamp, I've just done my second coat of white on this nail. I'm now going to apply my crystals to that second coat of white because I'm trying to, well, I'm not trying to, I'm being stingy. <laughs> so instead of wasting my, what's it called, um, my builder gels by just placing them on display tips, I'm going to use it on, um, well, basically just on this sort of thing. So I'm just finding some silver crystals. Now obviously you could pretty much use any coloured crystal for this design because we're using lots of colours within the design but I just think that white white and silver just look really really good so I'm going to be using silver. So I'm just going to get my silver crystals. I'm not doing anything really fancy by the way we're literally just popping a couple on just so this nail isn't totally plain. I'm just going to get my crystal picker upper. I got this from Aliexpress or Amazon, I don't know. You can get them from a lot of places, I think. So I'm just going to tip some out so I can pick the size that I want. And we're going to use a large one, a medium, so obviously needs to be smaller than that one. That's too small, so I need one between those. See, this is what annoys me, is they're so deceiving because they look different and then when you put it next to the other one they're the same that's the same size is that bigger yeah there we go so i'm literally just doing them like in order so i've got this one here that i'm fighting with next and then there's one here that's really 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 tiny i'm gonna pop that there and that's literally all i'm doing super simple but still looks really pretty and effective so i'm going to pop that into the lamp now but like i said i would usually apply um what are they called crystals with builder gel for longevity but because this is just a display tip i'm not going to waste my builder gel so just bear that in mind that if you did this in real life like on a real person it probably wouldn't last very long just sticking to the gel polish so i'm just going to get rid of those now so they're out of the way and i've got one less thing cluttering my desk and then next up we're going to do the other two nails so no we're not allowed we're going to do the pink nail next so i've done the second coat of the pink i'm now going to use my pigment over the top of this pink so i'm going to get a applicator i'm using the eyeshadow applicators for this and you really don't need a lot of these pigments a little bit of these really does go a long way so don't go overboard you don't need to and I'm just going to apply this to the pink. How beautiful does that look? These Aurora pigments. I mean, all of the pigments from Tears Beauty are beautiful. But these ones are just magical. I love them. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? 
So once you're happy with that and you've really burnished it in, I'm just going to get my fluffy brush, dust off the excess. Look at that. Beautiful. And that just needs top coat in. So I'm actually going to do that now while I'm, uh, while I'm here, might as well. Yes, that's one nail done. I'm going to pop my top coat on. This top coat is actually a little bit contaminated with glitter, which is a bit frustrating, but there you go. It doesn't look too bad to be fair, you can't really see it. So that's that pigment. It looks beautiful. You can see down here there's a few specks of bloody hair and glitter which is obviously not what I want so I'm going to get rid of those as much as I can and then I'll pop this nail into the lamp so next up we're moving on to the design nails now so I'm going to use this one here I'm just going to dust off this background so we're going to go in with all of the colours basically on here so I'm just going to get rid of any dust you've got on there probably would be best if I get the pigment off my hands as well so I'm going to get my palette and I'm going to pop all of my colours onto it. Obviously make sure it's clean before you go in with this step. I'm putting all of the colours that I'm using on here apart from the white. I'm not using that. I'm just going to put a little blob of every colour. Making sure that I don't use them too close together. Else they'll all just run into each other and that is a nightmare in itself. Bit of blue. And that's it so once I've done that I'm just going to move it over to the side so it's out of the way of my camera and it's not messing up and then we're going to apply blobs of these colours basically all over this nail so I'm just going to put some of the orangey colour there obviously this nail is quite large so I can use quite a lot of the colour um, obviously if your nail was really small then you wouldn't use a lot because you wouldn't be able to I'm just guesstimating how much I can get away with using at the moment for the first nail. I'm going to put a bit more of the orange further over. And I'm also going to bring the pink further over as well. And then we can get some purple here. And some blue down here. Oh my god, I'm still in focus. I can barely believe it. <laughs> now once I've done that, I'm just going to get another brush that's not got any polish on. Is that a hair? It is. It's useful. So yeah, I'm just getting a clean brush now. It's not got any colour on at all from anything. In fact, I'm going to use my other brush. So this is a blending brush it's called blend it and it is from erin searles collection as always like all of my brushes are i'm just going through and sort of like just swishing the colors together so there's not really like a really noticeable line of where one color starts and the other one finishes i'm just blending them together a little bit doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be applying glitter over the top I just want it to be a little more blending than it was and then once I'm happy with it I can pop it into the lamp for a full cure and I'm going to do the same thing on the other nail as well so that's what that one looks like really bizarre at the moment to be fair to make sure there isn't any air bubbles or hairs or anything like that that are going to sabotage me. Because once I've swirled them together, if I then pull them downwards, they blend really well um, because there's not a real harsh line. So I find that the easiest way to blend them. So that's that one. I'm going to pop that into... Actually, no, I'm not. I was going to do two coats, but I'm not. I'm just going to even out the coverage of the colours, basically. So I'm going to apply some more polish. And I'm just going to apply that 
to the areas that need a bit more a bit more polish just to even them out a little bit obviously at this point you don't want to ruin your blend so I'm not going to the like the outsides of the colour I'm literally just adding extra where I need it but that one I'm happy with now so I'm just going to blend this bit a little bit more now there's a hair on that green bit I'm just going to try and get rid of that without messing it all up there we go happy with that so I'm going to pop that into the lamp and then I'm going to do the exact same thing but I'm going to do it this time without like making it the same as the other one so again back to my brush I'm going to have purple up here this time because I think that's where I put the orange last time so I'm going to do that one differently And then I'm going to have the pink down here. And then underneath that, I think I'm going to have the orange down here. And then I'll go for the green here. And then last but not least, the blue down here between the orange and green. So it looks different this time, which is what I was going for. Perfect. So again, I'm just going to do the same process. I'm going to do it off camera real quick, just because you've just seen me do it. So next step is on this nail, I'm going to apply a coat of base coat because I actually want the tacky layer this time. And obviously, like I just said, um, gel perfection products don't really have much of a tacky layer this glitter is now contaminated this base coat is now contaminated with even more glitter um but it's fine <laughs> this is the one i use for glitter on purpose but anyway i'm just oh gosh just picked up a huge hair off my palette that's useful <laughs> obviously didn't clean that very well but anyway i'm going to be applying glitter to this anyway so i don't really care about the glitter in the base coat I'm just using this base coat because obviously base coat has a really good tacky layer because that is literally the whole point in base coat is it's like double sided sticky tape so I'm going to pop this into the lamp for a full cure and I'm also going to do the same for the other one because that has just come out of the lamp now And then we're going to apply the Phoenix glitter to the tacky layer this time because I want to show you the difference between like the ways that you can apply glitter and how they look different. So I'm going to pop that into there for a full cure as well and then I'm going to get my glitter back. So here it is. I'm going to get a brush to apply it this time. So I've got quite a few of these types of brushes like one is for pigment, one is for glitter and then one is for like dusts. I'm just going to get the one that I use for glitter and it is the tubby brush from Tia's Beauty that I use. I love these brushes. And we're basically just going to go straight into the bottle and then just get the glitter, place it on the nail. Make sure you don't like poke an area of the nail too many times with the glitter without any on your brush. Um, as you're going to get rid of your tacky layer. And that makes life really difficult. So this is the reason why it doesn't matter too much about your blend between your colours being perfect. Is because this merges them all together anyway. You can just about see the hues of the colour underneath. Which is what we were looking for. So once I've burnished that in. I'm going to dust off any excess. Not too aggressively. Because obviously this isn't stuck stuck. It's just resting on, on the top basically. On our tacky layer and then again I'm going to apply base coat over the top of this it's going to be really difficult to get it to stay focused now because of all the glitter that is absolutely everywhere there we go so I'm going to pop that on into the lamp and get the other one out 
the effect of this is different because I didn't use this um, like it's different to the original photo of the nails that I did before with this like sort of technique because I used a different glitter this glitter even though it's a fine glitter it's not like super super fine it is just fine so the the finer the glitter you use for this design the better basically and the one that I used last time was much finer Gold Crush from Sparkle Supplies UK would be a brilliant glitter for this design. If you have that, I'd definitely recommend using that. But it's nice to use different products, see how they all look. So I'm just going to dust off the excess again. Underneath as well. And then base coat this one. and the lamp and then all I need to do is basically top coat all of the nails that we've got so I'm going to do that obviously the only problem we've got now with me doing this in a different way is that it's a totally different effect to this white nail so it's not really going to go anymore but never mind it's fine so I'm just going to pop everything away get these glitters get these nails even top coated and then we can have a look how they look at the end when they're all together and done so here is what they look like when they're all finished. Super, super cute, super easy design to get this effect. It's super easy, but looks really effective. Obviously you can do it with any different colors, any different glitter on top for different effects. Um, I would obviously, usually, depending on how, I wouldn't usually mess about with textures of glitter. So in this instance, I would have either done them all this way or all this way, like either the tacky layer or sprinkled. I don't really tend to mix effects, but still this design idea let me know if you like this design idea or not. Um, I'm pleased with the outcome. I think they look really pretty. I love that middle nail with the Aurora pigment and these crystals are just beautiful. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll be back soon with the next one. Bye.